Good to go. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Come here, Fenton. Fenton has some things he would like to say. You are valid. You are loved. You are not a burden. Hi, babes. Welcome back to my channel. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I wanted to share with you my journey toward mental health in the hopes that in some small way I can help lessen the stigma surrounding mental illness. Because did you know that one in five people suffers from a mental health condition? And unfortunately, our culture has internalized the stigma against those suffering with mental health conditions. So many people suffer in silence, which damages hopes for recovery and can eventually lead to suicide. Too often, people don't see that they're not alone, that they can recover and manage their mental health, and that there is hope. I have made my own mental health a priority in my life because I know that it is just as important as my physical health. Self-care and self-love are not selfish things. They are actually critical to living well and being healthy. I don't suffer from anxiety and depression because I took the time to learn about myself, to discover what my triggers are, to learn what I need to do to keep those issues at bay, and to develop healthy coping mechanisms for myself. I found that when I'm not taking care of myself emotionally and physically, my anxiety skyrockets and I become overwhelmed, agitated, and easily spiraling. I hate it. But the goal is to find things that work for you and your own healthy coping mechanisms. One of the best things I have ever done for myself is go to therapy. I got to a place in my life where I knew I couldn't handle things on my own anymore. It was a simple decision for me because I know that reaching out and getting help from a mental health professional is not a sign of weakness, but is actually a sign of strength. I got super lucky because the first therapist I found was the bomb. Shout out to Dr. Riddle, and yes, I start every session with, Riddle me this, Dr. Riddle. Don't judge me, she loves it. And she is absolutely amazing, praise, the universe for Dr. Riddle, she is the best thing ever. She specializes in the LGBTQ community and she has helped me immeasurably. She's helped me change thought and behavior patterns that are unhealthy. <laughs> She's taught me how to set boundaries and she has helped me find so much peace in my life. Finding a therapist who fits you can be a challenge, but it's worth the search. Don't give up if you don't find the right therapist immediately. Even if you feel like you already have things pretty well under control like I thought I did, going to see a therapist is just the best thing ever. And I am forever grateful for the paths that led me to finding my therapist. Something else that has been absolutely fundamental in my journey toward mental health has been my fitness journey. The mind-body connection is not just a myth or a pop phrase. Exercise boosts those happy chemicals in your brain, releasing those endorphins, and can help reduce and manage stress. Studies have even shown that exercise can help alleviate symptoms among the clinically depressed, and in some cases has shown to be just as effective as antidepressant pills when treating depression. For me, I have always exercised, and I have always been dedicated to my physical health. I found that when I wasn't as consistent with my gym time, my anxiety would just go crazy. My stress levels would be all over the place. I would be irritated, frustrated, not able to cope with day-to-day -day things, and I was just generally very blue. I thought, like, do I have body dysmorphia? Like, what's going on? Why? Just because I didn't hit the gym as much as I wanted to this week, like, why am I feeling this way? And it wasn't that I thought I was going to get fat if I missed a gym sesh. It just took me a hot minute to realize that it was the psychological and physiological effects of exercise that I was missing. It is one of the best overall healthy coping mechanisms that I have found that helped me manage my stress, my anxiety, and my depression. And the thing about it is that even just 30 minutes a few times a week can create that healthy buzz and can help alter the chemicals in your brain that are being a bitch to you. Shout out to exercise. One of my very good friends, shout out to Robert of Medieval Times. Love you, Bay. Plays trumpet. He's awesome. Awesome guy. He has struggled with generalized anxiety and depression for a long time. He found that by taking vitamins and supplements, he was able to curb the intensity of his anxiety. He also found that exercise helped him wrangle his brain and keep his moods even. He wanted me to share with you that sometimes eating better and adding certain minerals, vitamins, and supplements to your diet can help combat mental health issues. So I'm glad he found things that work for him. 
try them out. Because the most important thing about your mental health is figuring out which treatments and coping mechanisms are best for you. Whether that be medication, exercise, supplementation, therapy, support groups, or just talking to your friends and family about your struggle. And don't compare your struggle to anyone else's because everyone's mental health journey is unique and valid. You will have bad days and that is totally okay. You're human and it's okay to not be okay. But don't isolate yourself and don't be afraid to reach out because you are not a burden. Navigating life with a mental health issue is hard and the isolation, secrecy, and blame encouraged by society's stigma can create huge challenges to reaching out, getting needed support, and living well. But the more we are able to have open, honest, constructive dialogues about mental health and to share our own struggles, and if we work together to end the stigma, so many more lives can be saved and we can all find better ways to cope live well and be happy. Let's end the stigma together. Go stigma free with me this month and every month. I love you and I'm here for you. I hope that you take care of yourself and give yourself all that self-care and self-love that you deserve because you are so deserving. And I'm gonna go take care of myself as well. I promise you that. I hope this video in some way helps someone out there. And I'm gonna leave some amazing resources in the description box below for anyone who feels like they need a little extra help. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this video. I'd love to hear from you. And also, masturbation helps a lot. Makes me very happy. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you again so much. Be well.